changed my perspective on the things we hold dear. It made me appreciate what we have. Uh, we take it for granted every day. Housing, food, relationships. Uh, a lot of these people don't have that, so we're trying to establish that. We're trying to establish, first of all, relationships. And then, especially the relationship with, with God. We bring the, the solid word, the meat to them. We don't give them the flannel graph gospel. Because Jesus said in Luke, blessed are the poor, for theirs is the kingdom of heaven. I've been on the streets for about a year. Well, first of all, when I had my stroke, uh, because of different situations and the stand I take for Jesus Christ, my sister kicked me out of the house and we just we've been on the streets ever since. See, I started coming here because I heard about this young girl that started this Bible study for the homeless. Well, I lost my job, and my money ran out, and so that means my place ran out, so <laughs> that's how I ended up out here. Megan, Marty, Stacy, Stephanie, and Jeff. Thursday morning Bible studies are cool because uh, you hear the word of God, you wake up with a good start in the morning. Uh, it's just good to hear the word of God. The favorite part that people get together who care about God and want to spread the, the word. That's what I like. You know, I, I like to hear about it. You know, that God is working in our lives and that people care about it. One, you get the word for one, and it's like you get this feeling every time you come. It's a bond. I like the milk. It's a bond. <laughs> the donut. No, no, the family. It's a family. It's the fellowship. And hey, look, more, more and more people show up. So there's only like three people. You know, Joseph. three or four people at the beginning, like about a few months ago, and now look. involved somehow, some way in outreach. It does a work deep in your heart that I can't explain. You gotta get outside of the pews, the four walls. There is a broken world outside and they're desperate. They're desperate to be loved. They're desperate to know the love of Jesus. Please, find a niche. There are so many broken people out there. Yeah, it's the, it's the best Bible study I have all week long. Wonderful Bible study. It's people share their lives, what's happening in their lives, and how that relates to what it says in the Bible. Actually, Melanie, um, a long time ago, gave me this prophecy of me loving on homeless people. And she had a vision of a man with long gray hair and a beard and a flannel. And I think that just kind of planted the seed. I know God was working, obviously. Planted the seed of me just like having a heart for homeless people. Basically, like Chelsea said, when she met me and, and found out that I was not going to church, not going to Bible studies, but I was a Christian, she said I deserved fellowship. And, uh, and that's why we started the one-on-one. -on -one. And she said we could bring other people into it. And that's how it started. And you could see it's... Uh, <laughs> It's growing, God moves, you know. God.
God build us back. We came to this thinking that we're going to be helping others and giving to them. What's happened is that we've been blessed. We've grown tremendously. Anybody who's come and participated in this, they go away changed. They go away different. I think it's essential. That's why Jesus made a mandate to care of the widow, feed the poor, visit those in prison. It's not because he didn't think he could take care of them. It's because it's for our growth. It's for our benefit that we participated in this.